Hello out there everyone, my name is Josh and I am the new owner of a 1973 uh, Glastron V156 Sportster. Um, it's my first boat, uh, first real boat. I've had what I call smaller watercraft growing up. Uh, this is my first actual boat um, that I bought as an adult <laughs> with my own money. Uh, um, yeah, I'm excited. I wanted a project boat though, I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on something that I was only going to get to use, you know, so many months out of the year for my first boat. I just wasn't sure um, if that was right for me. Actually, I knew it wasn't right for me because uh, growing up as a kid, my family, we had pontoon boats and um, fishing boats, stuff like that. Arkansas, lots of lakes and rivers, tons of places to go. Um, so I grew up doing that and I loved it. Um, been several years since I've been around the boating um, I guess we'll say culture, um, and, uh, anyway, about a year or so ago, I started actively keeping an eye open. I don't want to, I don't know if you should say searching because it wasn't like it was night and day, but I just always skimming through Craigslist, uh, the paper occasionally around uh, my local area, just seeing if there was anything. And, um, on January 26th, um, the day I saw the post uh, on Craigslist, there was a boat for sale here in my town in Arkansas. And I didn't know what a Glastron was. I thought, okay, Glastron, that's cool, 1973. I don't know, boats, I don't know, you know, the year is 73, is that, I don't know if that was a good year for boats, I don't know if the 70s were terrible. I just thought the boat looked cool. I, I like the classic look. Um, I'm not kind of one of these typical, I need something that looks cool, the modern type of people. I like classic things. and. Um, and I like modern things too, um, but as far as getting a, you know, twenty to thirty something thousand dollars speedboat brand new, that's just not me. So I accepted the challenge of okay, that's it. That's a classic boat. It's probably gonna need some work, um, but let's go take a look at it. You know, I wasn't scared. Um, got there, yeah, I liked it instantly. Didn't uh, the guy had kept it in the garage? for several years. Uh, I think about two years ago, he said, he moved it outside, but he had it under its own uh, covering. Um, it had a, uh, in Arkansas, we call them, uh, we call them pop-up carports. <laughs> that's, that's, I guess that's the uh, unpolitical correct way of calling it. I'm not sure what you call it. Anyway, sheet metal, metal structure, uh, just covering it up, and he had it covered with tarp and stuff like that. So it was out of the direct weather, but it was still in the in the elements. Um, he uncovered it. It was covered up. It had been covered up since 2009. Um, I thought, man, who knows what this is going to look like because his pictures were, were older. They weren't from any time uh, recently. And um, so he uncovered it. And I thought, you know what? Looks, that's, that's pretty decent shape from best I could tell um, where it sat. And uh, has an 85 horse Evan Root on it. Again, I thought, all right, that's a pretty good motor uh, from what little bit I know about boats. Uh, that's actually, uh, we had a 115 horse Johnson on a pontoon boat when I was a kid, and that thing, um, for an outboard and a pontoon, and hauling many, as many people as we did and friends and family, uh, we could tube and kneeboard and ski behind that thing, no problem. So I thought, 85 horse fiberglass boat, this should be pretty good if I can get it to run. Um, we didn't start it while I was there, so I bought it um, not knowing how uh, how the motor was. Kind of unnerved me a little bit, but you know, for the deal I got, it was worth the gamble. I thought I can, if I end up losing money on this, that's fine. I can call it if I want to keep working on it or not. So that's what I did. Set for several weeks. Um, February 16th of 2014 is when I finally got to actually do anything to the boat, which was uh, last weekend. I've got a video I'm about to show you of me trying to start the motor. Uh, like again, I said, I bought it not starting. Um, couldn't start, he didn't have any gas tanks or anything that were clean. You know, nothing where he could start it. it it's a Craigslisting. I mean, Craigslist listing. It wasn't like, I don't know what anybody would expect from that. I, I knew what I was walking into. So I bought a fuel tank, new fuel line. Um, got some gas, mixed it, got everything ready, bought some muffs so that I could make sure water was going to it, you know, did all the protocol, 
um, everything necessary. And here is the video from the first starting of the motor. Again, that video was just a glimpse of the motor starting. It's not actual me starting at the very first minute. That's about probably two minutes later after I got it started the very first kickoff and I let it run for about 45 seconds. I shut it back off. I ran in, got the camera because I forgot it, came back out and uh, recorded what you saw. Um, so the motor runs. That was a big deal for me. If it didn't run, I was going to seriously reconsider uh, the project because I just didn't know if I wanted to commit beyond um, doing anything with a boat that didn't even have a, a working motor. Um, so anyway, motor runs, checking it off the list. Um, phase two is going to be uh, replacing the floor and seeing if the transom and stringers and all that need replacing too. Um, I'm trying to keep an open mind, but I do realize that there's a pretty good chance I'm going to have to do some replacements on those. Um, Reglassing, whatever it takes, um, replacing the actual wooden stringers and transom, glassing over, all that stuff. I expect that to probably be in my future, but I'm hopeful if it doesn't go that way. But again, I've read plenty of these posts of you guys on the Classic Glass Drawn Owners Association website, and uh, I kind of know what to expect. Also, saw this book runabout renovation on that website and bought it uh, before I even got to start working on my boat just to kind of understand a little bit more about getting into it. I'm trying to be very forward thinking on this. I don't want to be some noob that doesn't know anything. I'm trying to research as much as possible, which by the way, I want to give a video shout out to Frisco Jarrett's on YouTube. Um, saw his post while I've been researching. It's fantastic just being able to see somebody else doing these things that I might be having to do. I'm a visual learner. Helps me a lot to see what somebody else has gone through and very detailed uh, notes and posts. Um, I, I just want, like again, I want to say thank you to him 
uh, for taking the time and doing all those things because for a new person like myself, it's very motivating um, because I know there's probably going to be some times in my future where I'm going to get a little demotivated. Hopefully that'll carry me through. Again, thank you for watching this video. Um, it's my first entry. My next step is the floor. Like I said, I'm going to try my best to document as I go. This style kind of works for me, shooting some video, setting down, telling you what I, I found. Um, so if you want to stick around for the ride, uh, this is going to be my journey. And uh, thank you for watching.